Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, 1 over p squared minus 4p plus 1 is equal to p minus 6 over p. Well, first thing I'm looking at here, I want to combine these two. So to do that, I need to have a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is this 1 is really 1 over 1, and we're going to multiply it, and I'm going to multiply it by this denominator over itself. p squared minus 4p, I'm going to fit in there, p squared minus 4p. And what this does, it allows me to combine the two to one big parent or one fraction here. Okay, so let's look at the numerator. Well, p squared minus 4p times 1 is p squared minus 4p. Okay, all right, so we have p squared minus 4p, and then we can't forget that there's a 1 up there, actually. That's right here, put that there. Now, the denominator is p squared minus 4p. I'm going to pull out a p there, so we have p minus 4, or p times p minus 4. Same thing, but it'll help us in a minute. Equal sign, p minus 6 over p. Now this is when I'm going to take this here and multiply it to both sides. So now I have p times p minus 4. And that's why I kind of saw ahead and broke that up. You didn't have to do it right away, but it helps there. These cancel. I have p squared minus 4p plus 1 equals these p's cancel. Now I have p minus 6 times p minus 4. p times p is p squared. p times minus 4 is minus 4p. S minus 6 times p is minus 6p. Together, they make it minus 10p. And negative 6 times negative 4 is a positive 24. Okay. So now, when we have p squared on both sides, they end up canceling. Okay. Let's bring a 10p to the left here. That's what I did first. Yeah. I add 10p to both sides. And I'm actually going to bring my 1 over to the uh, right. Minus 1, minus 1. We now have a positive 6p equals a 23 divided both sides by 6. And p equals 23rd, uh, 23 over 6. Okay? So now they tell us that we need to check that for extraneous solutions. So let's go check this. Check for extraneous solution. So we're going to plug 23 over 6 in for all of our p values. 1 over, almost wrote p there, 23 over 6 squared minus 4 times 23 over 6. Remember, it's the original equation, so we just have a 1 here, plus 1, is equal to 23 over 6 minus 6 over 23 over 6. Okay? So now, what I'm going to do, this fraction here, I have 1 divided by, I always love the big ones, 23 over 6 squared minus 4 times 23 divided by 6. And that, as a fraction, is negative 36 over 23. And we have plus 1 equals this one here. 23 divided by 6. Now, there's always a chance you make a mistake running your calculator, so if it doesn't line up, always check it again. All right, divided by 23 or 6. And we have negative 13 over 23. So, what's negative 36 divided by 23 plus 1? And that, as a fraction, is negative 13 over 23. So the left and the right hand side are equal, meaning that p equals 23 over 6 is a true solution in our final answer. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com